fucking nice. They're starting to kick in outside. Already. This looks cool. Extra shine. Extra shine. Alright. What do we got? Okay, this one's a hot, hot little mess here. What we got here? High metal content. Odd ones, too. With atmospheres. Not great atmosphere, but... We do have atmosphere. Federation, Federation. That one's got a serious orbit on it, too. Some of these are really spinning. It's volcanic. We got an orbital here. Orbital here. Bunch of cool planets. Let's go check out this one. See what this one's got. Too worthwhile. So. If I can figure out the. I don't remember what button it was. Or buttons get into that mode and then scan everything. Find that sheet tomorrow. Maybe we'll hang out here. We'll check both of these stations. We'll check this one, we'll check the other one. Stay docked at that one. And then uh, we'll find out what's happening here. Pop out, get dinner going. section out here. I think it's been almost, well, almost 14 hours on that tabletop RPG project there. Bit of a push. Getting all those... Because they're all named, and they all have their historical weight. 
There's quite a lot, actually, there. And at least from what I have on these sheets here, it sums up basically the 30 years of everything that I had developed as far as all of the deity and world building and the timelines with all the different created multiverse spaces and everything. It's pretty good. It has everything in one spot. It's going to save me some time later on. So that's pretty good. I'm not sure when I do the streams for Tabletop RPG, I got a few of them planned already, but I kind of want to do a few things first, then do those ones. So I'll have to have to set down a bit. So maybe tomorrow I'll do that. We'll stop at the starport. We'll stop at the other starport. See where we're at. Keep an eye out for parts and also for ships. To see which ones they have. Uh, I would like to pretty much own all the ones that I would like to do stuff in. Set them up a little different. Some of the ships I just don't like. So I might end up just getting some more of the ones that I do like. And then just setting up the ships different. Each one different. And I can just hop into whatever one it is. This planet looks pretty cool. Volcanic. Pretty cool looking. Wish you could get down into the planet on some of those ones too and just fly through and see, you know, what it looks like and see some of the cool volcanoes and stuff. Pretty cool. So I'll have to get back in and do some of the rest of the races and stuff, too. Uh, all the bloodlines and heritage things got all developed out. Really moving. Picking up all the light from that sun.
This is a bit of a okay. Here I need. Check the missions. What do we get? Careers. We expect more careers. They're all pretty close too. <laughs> Paying like Dookie. There's an assassin. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Cobra, type 6, heal that scout. Vulture, dropship, type 7, sculpture. Gunship. Type 9, heavy. 76, pretty cheap. Hmm. Good get. I'd have to sell everything we got. Alright. What do we got? We got the A. Thank you. Pilots, do not block the access corridor at any time. Let's see what's at this one. What's there? We'll find out. They do have the parts and stuff here for most of the shows. Just the system's a hot mess. If it's anarchy, I'm going to assume the nav beacon is contested. I suppose we can check. Thank <laughs> you. 
I haven't really been checking the planet side ones. Most of those end up being those bases. That I don't really have too much of an interest in. But we will check it. I'm just glad, you know. The other day, I ended up getting this project done. At the other project. So, this full space. I'll be able to get shelved properly over there. And then that'll just free up the extra room here. If I get that control arm and get that camera set up different, we'll be able to just crank some more of the mapping streams. Be good. Should be good. I do have to get a little dust tomorrow. It's moving all this stuff around. There's a lot of dust. Plus, well, I normally run the air thing in here, which is obviously a big difference. Um, it gets all the dust and stuff out of here. It's just really crappy carpeting in here that is new, but it's like the fibers just fly all over. I haven't had a decent freaking vacuum cleaner at the store, so our other vacuum cleaner took the crap. It's just using this. Kinda makes it worse. I have to have to get a different uh Different one with a filter, I think. That would be a little bit more helpful. The other one was pretty good because you could just empty out the canister and stuff, but not as great because filter on it, there was no way to get a different one. You just had to keep washing it, but that doesn't. seem like it's too far away, but it's a ways. Those aren't what you think they are. Just give her a couple more of those regular things like you had before. Do not give her any of that other stuff. I don't have time for that. You won't be here, and I don't have time to do all the extra running around that that's going to entail. Don't be giving her any of that other stuff unless you're going to be here all day with it. Because I'm not going to do all that. Just give her regular old, same thing. Because it's just dumb. What is it? Yeah, that's fine. Not that other stuff. Not unless she's going to be here to deal with all that. I'm not gonna do it. It's just gonna be way too much of a hassle. So. Hello. You don't want to give her that other stuff. That ain't that ain't what that's for. Yeah. Uh, oh good. Hey, how's it going? 
fly into this completely remote starport here, way on the other side of this thing. Check out everything, so. Clipper? No, this is a courier. I don't fly the bigger ships. I don't have an interest in it. This is a courier. Courier is one of my favorite ships. Courier, Asp Explorer, and the Viper Marvel are one of my three ships. Courier is my favorite. I think of all the ships. And then Asp Explorer and then Viper Marvel. Don't really do the grind for the other ones higher up. Courier is about as far as they do the grind. After I get to Courier, I just stop. Not really interested in the other ships. It's like if you if you didn't have to grind for like ever, then maybe. But the other ships don't really look as cool either. I don't I don't really like them as much. This one looks good. Though. Type nine, yeah. I'm saving up to get the Type 9 right now, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm going to use that for um, some deep space exploration, I think. It's going to gut it and set it up for a long range haul. I think the Type 9 will be able to do pretty good for that. I do the Type 10, but the parts and stuff for the Type 10 are almost pointless. You're not really gaining as much, so Type 9 is the way to go. Type 9 is a good one. So I'm just checking some of these remote systems. I had to fly all the way out here to scan some of these stars anyway, so I figured I might as well check out some of these and see what... if they have any ships that are worthwhile or parts that I can use for different stuff. I'm also checking the missions, seeing if there's anything that's useful. Most of these, they're not paying enough. I won't do them if they're not paying enough. Kind of chintzy. Especially with how far you gotta fly. I'm checking the ships and seeing what they got. If they got anything good. They do have a lot of federal ships here. Yeah, see the Type 9 Heavy is pretty good. Yeah, Type 9, that's, you can haul so much stuff. It makes it so much easier. I think when I had, because I was running, uh, what ship did I have? I was using the Python, running cargo runs with Python. I ran algae, water, and medical supplies. I think I did that for like three hours at the most. You know, maybe three hours. And I ended up with like 100 mil and then bought all the ships that I needed to do. And then I was like, okay, cool. That was on the PlayStation. Um, then I set up the Viper Mark IV. I did some mining flying all around in the asteroid fields doing some mining, I found a planet that was just ridiculous. It was like you were flying across this diamond ring for like ever. I was like, you're never gonna not find diamonds here. This whole place is full of diamonds. But I'm gonna get the Type 9 uh, and I'm gonna get a Python. Those are the other two ships that I like. Uh, the Type 9 I want to get to do cargo runs, obviously, because it can carry enough. And then also some deep space exploration. And then the Python, I'm going to set that one up for combat, just so that I can hunt some of the more dangerous nav beacons and hunt them a little bit longer. So. Yeah, yeah. And I used to do, um, what ship was I using? I think I used the Asp Explorer first, and then switched up and did the Python to run um, just regular old people wherever they needed to go. Passenger run here, passenger run there. And then it was like they were starting to get a little finicky, where it was like they would change their mind and be like, I need this obscure thing somewhere else, and you'd be flying all over the place. They keep saying, go get me this, go get me that. And I was like, these passengers are starting to piss me off. They want too much. And you couldn't... What I used to do was I would put the stuff that they would normally ask for on the ship. You know, they'd be like, well, I need to have this. And I'd be like, well, they're asking for this often. I'll just buy it and put it in the cargo bay. So I had it and I could just give it to them. But it never worked that way. You couldn't do that. You had to go and get it. 
once they said they wanted it, you couldn't just already have it on your ship. So I said, well, that's bullshit. So I got out of that completely. I said, if I can't just stock my ship with what my passengers normally need, I'm not going to do those runs. I mean, they were good. I mean, you could make like six mil for a person that wants to fly over and look at some nav beacon thing somewhere. You're like, hey, no problem. I'll sightsee you all the way over there and, and do that. But then you get some high-end ones, which was like, people are trying to blow your ship up every five seconds. I'm like, man, this person's a hot passenger. I got to get this person off my ship, <laughs> you know? So we did some of that. Uh, Python worked pretty good for that. I think I, well, oh, I know what I did. I had the vulture and I, I tanked the vulture up. Uh, and I was doing like armored transport with the vulture. That's what I was doing. Uh, loaded it up with the passenger bays on that. And then I was doing armored transport. I'd pick up some high-end ones, the ones that were a little more risky. <laughs> I took them in the took them in the vulture, just so I could do the grind faster. It worked out pretty good. So, but I like the Python Type Nine. I want to get so I have it permanently. I want to be able to have it so that I I don't have it do what I need to do and then sell it because that's what I did before. I'm gonna get it and keep it and set it all up. I might end up actually getting two of them and do one set up already for cargo runs and then another one set up to do um, space exploration and, and just leave it at that. The cargo run one, I always end up putting at least one passenger bay on because when I'm running cargo, I'll run passengers at the same time and just tag team, it, you know, because there's a lot of things you can just run. You can get some decent passengers that aren't complaining all the time and get the cargo that is worth money but not worth interdiction more or less so if you get interdicted passengers that don't complain about that those are the ones you got to shuffle through and be like okay you know these ones will be like on here you know i'm sure on this spaceport there's going to be a bunch of them so you come in here and you got each of the different squadrons are going to have so you come through each of the different factions are going to have different passengers and they're going to want like different stuff so you got to really look and see who's going to be the one that's not going to complain too much. You know, if you get blasted by a couple of blasts, who cares? You know, the, the hull's not damaged. They're not blasting through the armor. The shields didn't go completely down. We are getting hit, but we got shields, you know? It's like, come on. You know, most of the passengers, they know. They get on your ship. There's going to be some stuff happening. And then they go like, well, I don't know why we're getting shot at. It's like, you don't know why? I wasn't getting shot at when I was flying through here before. It's because you're here. You know? So that's usually what ends up being the case. You got a passenger that's complaining that they're getting shot at, but they know they're going to get shot at. That's why they want to get onto a ship, and they're like, oh, we'll pay you this much, you know? But it was, it was interesting when we used to do those runs. I, I try to combine it like I said, with cargo runs and passengers at the same time, just to do the crunch. But the Vulture worked pretty good. I did armor transport in the Vulture, and the Python worked good because you could get the FSD drive. If you lighten the ship up enough, get the shields tanked fairly well and the hull tanked fairly well with modules up pretty high. A uh, little bit on the hull, but main, mainly modules. And then you could do it without having to worry about being interdicted. You could just avoid the interdictions if somebody was coming after you. You know, you don't have to be interdicted. I usually do it just because I want to find out who it is and then shoot their stupid ship and they won't be interdicted again, but... You always gotta weigh the options with those passengers, so... Yeah, yeah. And see, like, from the, the reason I like the courier is usually when I got the courier, what I do is I take the courier and I do courier missions, right? It's just obvious designed for that so i do that or i do that in the the viper those two ships work the best but if i'm thinking that there's going to be some problems i'll take the asp explorer and do the courier runs you know you load up the data and get your your travel and your exploration done all in one shebang you're doing even more i'll take the long way around and drop the data off or i'll try to do speed runs on it the courier works really good for the speed runs you just boost it you know and be done the shield like on here when I set the shields, because you can put the shield slot wherever the hell you want. I've actually put the shield slot really low, 
down almost to the bottom, like in a two slot, even though I could have a six. I'll put it down to a two and then put the shield boosters on it. It's like, damn thing will never turn off. Like they're shooting the hell out of it. It's like, ah, the shields won't go down. B class will handle some heavy hits. You know, C is lighter, but B can take some thumping. You know, the A class one is expensive power wise and doesn't really handle the hits as well as it could. It could be better. Um, it's just not reinforced the same way. It's designed for a more Pilots. durational shield, but not heavy thump. So the heavy, the heavy thump part, that can be a problem. So if you're getting hit hard, it's usually pretty good to go with the B class because if they're going to be ramming you with their ship and stuff like that, which is usually what's been happening lately, uh, the B class holds up better than the A with some boosters. And I stagger the boosters, too. I don't just put, like, all the same level of boost shield booster on there uh, because the different grades will recharge and boost at different levels. So what I do is I stagger step them, and I'll do, like, an A-class, a B-class, and a C-class or something like that. So you've got, a, you know, like, a layering happening with the boosters if you have the capacity to do it, and it works really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was doing the Imperial Eagle too. Regular Eagle and an Imperial Eagle both. I like the regular Eagle because I can actually put ship kits on it because I like it to look cool too. Uh, but the Imperial Eagle, they did make a, a difference. On the PlayStation, the Imperial Eagle actually sucked in comparison to the regular Eagle. So I was like, well, that's dumb. It's supposed to be a better ship. So I ended up just taking the regular Eagle and using that more often. Welcome but on here, they made some changes and the Imperial Eagle was a little bit better. So I was using it on here. And I think we, we were in that ship for a while. Uh, we did regular Eagle to start with. Uh, I was in the, uh, the Sidewinder forever. Almost a whole year I was in the Sidewinder. Frick, I mean, we were in the Sidewinder forever. I just I had that thing set up to do the runs as fast as possible. Didn't do any combat. Just did data currying and, and grounded out. Then I jumped in. Uh, and this is PlayStation uh, that I'm talking about. So then I did uh, the Eagle. Did the data runs and such on the on the eagle, and then had the imperial eagle, and I was like, "Well, this isn't as great as the other one." So I went to Viper Mark Three, and it's fast, definitely. Uh, ended up getting the Viper Mark Four, and then I didn't turn back for quite a while. I was in the Viper Mark Four for two years, just flying in the Viper Mark Four because it was awesome. Love love everything about the Viper Mark. Uh, Wish the engine was just a little more, but hey, you know, make it happen. Played around with all the numbers with it and, and figured out the best setup to make it happen. So I don't do any engineering at all on any of my ships. I just run the normal parts. Uh, so then I switched up and I got the Asp Explorer, and I love that, and I ran that for a while. Uh, almost the same as the Imperial Eagle. Just loving it. Uh, the way that the inside looks and, and the flight of it and the way the guns are set up, it's like, man, this, this is good. And then finally got the grind, and I was like, courier. And then I was like, wow, I really like the courier. <laughs> so I didn't really go back to any of the other smaller ships. Courier was it. It's either courier or asp explorer for me. Those are the two ships I'm in most of the time. But I really like the Viper Mark IV, so I go back to that often. But, you know, the Imperial Eagle is so small. And the regular Eagle, you know, between the two ships, they're so small, it's hard for them to get a beat on it. You know, it's, the Viper Mark III is comparable, um, but Imperial Eagle and regular Eagle doing just data runs if you set it up for, for lightweight. I, I think I can actually run it without shields, too. I'm, I think I did. I think I ran it no shields and everything super light. It was like you... If you got interdicted, you'd be FSD and out of there before they had a chance, you know? It was like, in, out. <laughs> it was so good. I was like, man, can't complain, you know? I'm going to go check out this other system and see what's over here. I have one more star that I have to check, but some of these systems, I want to check these out and see what's actually happening. Because we've been chasing down these pirate factions on here, trying to eliminate all of their influence as much as possible. So. But yeah, I, I was... This year, when we started getting back into PC gaming, got the laptop, 
uh, got it all set up and everything, and then I, I got back into the PC gaming, so I switched everything to PC gaming, so I had to start all over with Elite, because they didn't have a way to transfer everything around until later, but by then I was like, ah, I already did everything, yeah, so, you know, on the PlayStation I still have half a mil setting on there, I think, or, or no, I think I have 50 mil, yeah, I have 50 mil set. 50 mil and all my ships. I have two of every ship that I like. I'll set up there. Uh, it's fine. We already got everything back on here already. It was like the fastest. It took us almost four years to get what we had on there. And it only took me six months to get everything I had on there after four years on the computer. So that worked out pretty good. I was happy for that. Because it took, man, it seemed like it would just take forever. But console game versus computer game, it's slightly different. Mechanics-wise, it's a bit of a change. So... Let's see. What do we got here? We do have a decent star for it. So let's go check that out. Scoop our fuel momentarily. Casually. We do have an A class scoop on here. Helps if I'm aiming at it. All right, let's go check and see what we got. Yeah, I flew all over the place. We did some, we did major testing on here with the Asp uh, Explorer uh, forever. It was like forever. Scanning all kinds of different stuff, checking all the neutron stars and doing heat testing on the ship. And we did the same thing with the Courier. Um, did all the heat testing and everything on there. It's just so good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was like we did so much different stuff and we were like putting the different ships through everything because when I play, I don't just go, okay, well, so-and-so had this and this for their ship, so I got to just, that's what I got to do for that. And it's like, no, frick that. I want to check out everything for the ships. I want to make every ship do everything and find out what parts work the best in combination. Not just all A class or all D class, you know, different combinations of different stuff. Test it out, test the ships, what's the limits? How can they fly, you know, so that I know, so that when I'm fighting those ships, I know where their weaknesses are so I can take them out, you know? That's how you get things like, you know, for us, after going through the grind and getting everything, that's how you find things like, like this. This chart that I developed out is all that data and accumulation that shows all the ratings with how the game system actually nerfs your ship down when you're fighting other ships that have a higher rank than you and what's the XP range, what's the potential for damage, you know, all the combat allocation modifiers for your vulnerability, your damage, damage reduction, all that stuff. That's all from all that testing, you know, going through and playing all those hours, thousands of hours in every single ship, you know, because we were playing it all the time because it's fun, you know, to play. I was playing in open for quite a while, too. A console open is different than PC open. PC open is almost pointless, really. Now it's like really bad. The frickin' frame rate is super horrible. So I found it's better either solo or private frame rate ends up being better. The game engine can keep up. It's trying to grab too much. I don't know if they gotta add some more servers or what, but it's noticeably bad. Like earlier today, it was nerfing us really bad. Uh, the AI was like, I don't want to lose my ship, you know, basically. You could tell, as it was throwing all kinds of stuff at us. I was like, do something better than that. Like, 
and it was trying, it was like nerfing my ship down 80%, and I was like, holy crap, I'm only flying on 20%. I was like, this is, this is I was like, but I can do it. I can still take it out on 20%, so. Access granted. Proceed to landing pad 4-2. Assisted docking initiated. But it bailed on us, and it left, and then sent a squad of three ships after. And I was like, wow, getting sweaty there, AI. So we had it up for a bit, and then when it was like, I'm in the negative numbers, I was doing negative 25% of my ship. It, like, it couldn't even turn or do anything. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like I said, before on stream, I mentioned it before, I did send a little write-up to the devs and stuff, too. Really what they should do when you start out in the new pilot zone is just give you all the ships. You know what I mean? Every ship with all the stuff give you missions with all different kinds of ships. You shouldn't just be one ship. How are you going to learn how to do any of that stuff? It's going to take forever before you're in the ships. In the starter area, you should be able to fly them all. Give them, give them every ship. Let them check out all the ships hang around in there and try them all out, get an idea what they want, right? Do different missions with different ships so you can see what each of the different things are, all the different build-outs on it, and then when you leave the new pilot area, right, you got an idea. You don't have to spend the grind out in the wilds, more or less, trying to figure out what the hell you can do. It's kind of like a waste. It would be easier to do that there, you know, where you could just go through and check out everything. Because it would be like, such and such faction has a mission, and they give you a ship and you go fly the mission. I think that would be a better a better setup while you're in that area. It would just be so much cooler, also, because then you can check out all the different ships right away. You're like, oh man, that's a cool ship, I like that, you know? You'd get the hype up, so when they get out, they'd be like, alright, cool, now I know what I gotta do. I know what I, I'm going to have to play around with this, and I'm going to have to go do that. It'd be a lot better. These are better missions here. Half a mil for a competent. I don't think I can take him out with this ship. I don't have this shut up. This is not set up for combat. What ships do they got? Diamondback, Type 6, Explorer, Keelback, Asp Explorer. I could tank out an Asp Explorer. Lots of gunships. Mm -hmm. Darn. Diamondback Explorer can tank pretty well. It's got the large hard point. Scout got an extra one, though. Yeah, too small. Hmm. <laughs> Explorer is fairly expensive, though. I don't know. Could maybe. Let's see if I can cash any of this stuff out. I can sell everything. Good. Take it all. There you go. Black market. Regular authorities. Missions are pretty good. Not bad at all. Only problem is it's for Federation. I mean, I don't mind, but I prefer Empire. There is some courier missions in here worth it. This one here is interesting. I'm just curious, would this one screw us up? You know? I think it might. Without, without more on our ship. I'd have to deck this ship out for combat if I was going to do that. Right now I'm just running the pew pew lasers on here in case we get interdicted. So we have some kind of weapon. I don't like using pew pew lasers for combat, I like using bullets. Bullets and missiles. 
that situation would call a person heavy hit in power, I think. We could outfly him. But man, it would take forever shooting with freaking pew pew lasers. And I don't have anything setting up on the top. I got four slots empty and the whole inside deck is gutted. I'd have to set it up for... I could probably get it close to 1600 armor. I could get shields to a little over six. Damage we could get up quite a ways. I could get the shields pushing. Better off getting a different ship or transferring a ship here. Where is this at? Yeah, there's a couple of planets that are all right. Refuel star. Hmm. The missions are okay. I'll say that. They're okay. Not super excited. So we have this star we can get to. any other one here doesn't look like it looks like that's our next our next jump is here getting closer closer towards where that engineer is at hmm well let's map this one go top deck We'll scan this other star real quick. Find out if they have any ports there. They probably do. So we're running this ship with only two for the fuel cell. That wasn't quite enough for the way out here. Had to buy a ship and yank the fuel tank off because they didn't have any fuel tanks for sale. So we had to buy an adder and get a grade three fuel tank. Put that in. So I was running just a well, two slots instead of an eight. I had it set up for speed. Jumping almost freaking 30 light years with it. But then I'm out of fuel. Yeah, I see the ships. Maybe. That's why I'm leaving. I truncated this one down too so I don't over boost it. We need this one so we can get the range on it. I had it at, it was at 29 something, almost 30. Basically the same as a Diamondback Explorer. But then I added the guns and some other stuff out to it, so it can be done. We could haul ass. For sure. Let's see what this place is got. What's here at this one? Yeah, I'm scanning all these A class stars. They're my favorites. So. Eagles. Found a monster. Man, that thing was huge. Bigger than the old frickin' screen. I had to scroll way out. Had Al Nair, but the one in Al Nair, it ate everything. So there isn't much of the system left. So I was like, well, that sucks. How big is this one? Yeah, it's a baby one. A little baby one. A lot of planets here, though. All ringed planets. The whole freaking system. Wow, that's pretty cool. Even little tiny ones. Little baby ones. This system's gonna be worth something. Let's go here. This one is worth it. Yeah, scoop it. Let's 
Let's see what this place has. Could be something good. It's nice when you got one of these kind of stars. The other planet, um, or the other system, had three of these kind of stars. Three white ones. Alnair had five, but two of them ate each other. And then the other one that was there, I don't know, something happened with it. It started burning out. So the other, the other star that was there pulled away, and it's changed. It's not quite the same anymore. And then the nav beacon that was there went contested, and then the two planets that were closer got sucked up into it because they're not even there anymore. So the military base was gone. Um, Alnair was like, great. Love that one. I could make a mill every 10 minutes. You know, it's like 10 minutes, mill. 10 minutes, mill. And it's fun because it's combat. As you're flying around and blasting ships left and right, you're trying to keep your ship together. You gotta have your stuff on point or you're gonna get blown up. It was great. Go back to the military base, cash in, come back, keep going. Now there's only one, uh, one port, and it's all the way on the other side of the system. And I can see why those two stars are super hungry. Uh, they're eating everything. I think Alnair will be gone. There'll probably only be a star there and everything else. All the planets are pretty well getting picked off every couple of months or so here. It seems like there's one more that's just not there just it's losing ground so we had to switch up and went to the blotter system and the blotter system has got good you know everything about the same it's about a mill every 10 minutes when you get there and hot it up for a bit you got to spend a good hour getting things going once it's jump started about every 10 minutes you can make a mill combat and then uh keep cashing it out it'll stale up after a while okay then you go fly somewhere else for a bit do some other stuff, do some missions or something, come back, and then just keep potting it up after that, you know. So, we'll see. Some of the systems are changing. You know, mechanics are changing in the game a little bit. I noticed a few things they made some changes to. Earlier, the freaking AI was pissing me off. So, I just left combat and lost to cheatsy doodle of that bad it's like if i can't even fly my ship, it was messing with my pips in my ship i was like you can't touch pips from the other ship it's just not a thing pips are your control that part bugs me the most i set my pips and i never change them four to the middle and one to each side on the outside i never change it never never move it there's no difference whatsoever unless I'm just straight hotting on a ship that has no advantage. I'll put all power into guns, or if I'm recharging my shields because I'm done, I'll put all power into shields. Other than that, I never change it. Not during combat, uh, unless I, I have the advantage completely. Then I might do it. But my hand's on the mouse, and pips are I gotta take my hand off the mouse, which means I'm not flying because that's my flight control and I have to use the arrow keys to adjust it manually. So when they're doing that, it's like, no. Pips are a lever in my ship. And it was like, they were targeting the guns one at a time, but they were targeting all six of the guns on the ship I was in. And I was like, no, fuck am I. That ain't happening. You can't, you can't target that many things at the same time. It's like when the AI's doing that, where you shoot six missiles and it's like, well, I could block all six. And it's like, oh, really? Your one missile turret defense is blocking six missiles. Yeah, right. I don't think so. They're all shooting at the same time. So I stagger stepped them and did them in brackets, and I was like, you can't block that many. So then I started to get smart, and I was like, okay. So I took my defense system off. It would shoot missiles, and I'd shoot them out of the sky with the Manticore cannon. And the AI was like, well, I'll nerf the Manticore cannon. Okay, go ahead, nerf it. And so then I would fly my ship where the turret defense there's no way it could shoot it and i was like go ahead and try to make this one happen cheatsy doodle it's like you can't shoot the missile turret defense through your own ship to hit the missile and you can't put missile to turret defense on that ship underneath here so i was really messing with it i was like you can't hit this missile i purposefully would put myself into a position where i would shoot the missile 
and there was no chance that it could block it. AI was so pissed. AI was like, you know, I'm gonna see who this is. I don't know. We haven't had combat with this ship yet, so. Guns do work pretty good, I guess. It's hot. Now they are pew pew and pretty good. Got a little more boom than I got too. We'll let those recharge for a second. See how well these lightweight shields hold up. Got an advantage on Yankee because he's a little heavier than me. Make him work for him. He's trying to pull me. I'm circling around though. He couldn't yank me. I didn't think he could. Back to what I was doing. So they're okay. The little pew pews. The only reason I put them on is because I didn't feel like having to um, get bullets and stuff every time I got to get them, but they suck so much power. I mean, so much power. I'll probably take those off. They're okay, you know, in a pinch. They will blast a bit. It did take his shield layers down pretty good. He had one um, shield booster on the top. I could see it. So that's... They're not bad. They're all right. I just prefer bullets. It doesn't suck up all the power on the ship. He didn't drop shields. They're not even that high. They're not off. My shields are still on. No booster. Let's hope. Wonder how fast they'll boot back up. Let's see if we get that second shield there back. Before we dock. I'll slow down. Boosting up. Second shield later is coming up quick. It's, it's coming back. I'll go way slow. Almost. We can we can still keep flying. Come on, baby. You got it. Pop it on. Solid. Nice. These ones with plenty of little uh, wings on. Need some fuel, boys. And maybe some other stuff. So, a little pew pew lasers. <laughs> I use too much. But, I didn't want to put the guns on at the time. Suppose I could switch it up and put some missiles on there. I think what I did on the other ship is, I got so tired of it, I put torpedoes in all six slots. And so they had a one double rack. It's like, you're dealing 1200 damage. There's no ship that's sucking up all that. 
once those torpedoes hit, it's like all the shields are gone and the hull is messed up bad. They're like, oh, frick. It's just super funny. So that shield, it's holding. I don't have to change it. Definitely don't. I'm taking the pew pew lasers off. I just put them on to see if it would if it would work. It works, but boy does it suck the juice. Man, I can't fly a ship where it's draining that much freaking power off of it. That's just annoying. Can't even fly your ship because you're out of juice already. And those guys will sit there and run thermals on you for like what seems like six hours. It's like how the hell are you doing that, you know? Get these pew pews off here. Goodbye little pew pews. Like I said, this jumps our range right back up because they just suck so much power. It's not that they're heavy. It's that they take a lot of power. And I, I actually, I could put missile racks on this. I can't remember how much did that actually do. Let me see some. Well, I could put fragment cannons too. Those do work pretty good. Range is short. But no problem with that. So that also is an option. Let me see. How much does that suck us down? Well, it's not too bad. It's not horrible. How about multi cannon? Oh, yeah, way better. Yeah. I'm just going to put the multi cannons on. I'm not going to put one on the bottom, though. Bullets are way better. There's no power loss with these. Just melt their freaking ship. I could put a cannon on. Could put a multi-cannon on. How much does this fragment cannon do? Well, we all an automated target track. Really close, the damage is high. So if they decide to come point blank on us, it sucks a lot of juice, though. What does it look like? Huh. We gotta be close for this. Damage is pretty good, though. Shot speed super slow. Three shots. I don't know. We'll try it. Never really put that on. It might be good. Might be worth it. Um, let's see here. Seems how it's getting messy. I don't need point defense. They have no extra good stuff here. We can upgrade the bulkhead. Power distributor, though. Could swing the A-class on. And our engines aren't losing. The recharge range is way higher, then. I know it sucks us down a bit, but gotta do what you gotta do. Now, our shield generator is a D-class. And it's holding actually pretty good. Can't complain. But I would like a bi weave action. B class will hold some thumb. I don't know. Shields didn't drop. So it's like, how do you make the call? And we got a, a fuel scoop, which normally I don't run, but we have it. Hull reinforcement, surface scanner, which I can store. Guess we can just put it back on. Doesn't really change the weight for the ship. Sucks. Okay. Well, 
So we got some guns, just in case we need them. Still running light duty. The hull isn't all that tanky. Which is pretty light. Pretty light. It's not a combat ship. This one. Not built for a combat. The other one is. This port, not the greatest. Um, let's see here. Let's get this set up. Put that in a two. This in a two, and this in a two. Fuel scoops in a three. Okay, looking good. Um, detailed surface scanner. Guess you can't really take that off. Oh. Alright, that's fine. I'll allow it. Frag cannon, we'll put that on a two. Wait until we're close and then blast with it. The rest of the time we'll shoot with the guns. Target on. Should be good. Better than it was. QP lasers suck. We did good. As far as I'm concerned with that little piece. Um, let's check the system one more time. So this system is setting a couple other little ports we could check. I don't see any... This one's got an atmosphere. A little different, though. Yeah, see, all these are unexplored. You could do that scanning with all of these. Just every single one of these. Yeah, see, they only scanned a few and then they gave up. There's this little guy here. Hmm. So I say we keep checking this system. I want to I want to scan all that the whole thing um let me check the ships one more time I could bring one of the other ships here too Eagle hauler adder Diamondback Scout Diamondback Explorer federal drop ship salt ship gunship all those are here if you did the missions, you could unlock. I don't really have too much interest in those, but... So that ship did nothing to us, basically. Shot at us a bunch, but nothing happened. It couldn't get that last shield layer down. Too bad for him, I guess. So yeah, um... I'm gonna get some dinner going, I think. So, I'll hop back on uh, when I get done. Get dinner going and then eat and then hop back on. It's almost 8. I usually get back on at 10. That's usually when I get back on. Eight. It's almost 8 my time. So, 10 Eastern Standard Time. So, I'll get dinner going, get that done, and then eat, right, all that. Then hop back on at 10. That'll give us a couple hours on there. We'll hop back on here. I'll see if I can find where I put that paper, too. It's got all my controls. I wrote everything down. I actually made a little keyboard and stuff. So I'll find find that if I can. Figure out how to do those scans. Get that taken care of. So I'd like to scan all these planets. Do the probes on them all. Get the whole system maximum scanned. Because one that has a star like this and then all ring planets like this is worth a chunk. We fly all the way back and then sell it back where we were. So we've got a couple of... Which, let me check. Let me go back. Let me go back here. Hang time. Hang time. Let me see something. Where is that other star? Okay, we, we were here. We could hop to this one. As also an A-class. Yeah, because we got to go way back. We got to go back. So there's one. Yeah, that's the one we got to do. And we have this one way down here, too. 
This one's pretty high, also high tech. So, Ceratus, and then that other one. Looks like that's all in this. It is packed here, star wise. It's a lot of way down there. We had a heck of a run. We're getting closer. We keep going up. We are doing well. Or over, because we have two different engineers here. We have this engineer here, and we have that engineer there. Both of these engineers, the only reason I'm going there is to be done with that piece of it. And then we can use that hopefully to our advantage. So it looks like there's another star way out here. Old clouds. I've only scanned a couple of those. That one's a ways out. But there's a lot here. I mean, look at all these freaking stars. This is a tight packed little area. But we're here. We were way the hell down there. That's where all of our ships are, too. So we got a little bit of runs to do here. Not too bad, though. I'll say six stars, perhaps. Then we can just check the systems. I like to scan as many of those other ones as we can. A-class ones seem to be the, the cash cow. At least for now. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get something to eat. And then when I get done with that, I'll hop back out. We'll play a little more Elite. Maybe we'll just do some Elite today. I was going to do some Arc, but I don't know. I think we'll stick with Elite. I'll fly around, get those other systems scanned. I'll get those stars scanned. Do a little more poking around. Because this direction is the only direction that we didn't go. Because it was towards the engineers, and we knew we were going to go this way. The pirates, we ran them all the way the other direction. We cleaned out every star system all the way in that whole area backwards behind us. It's that one system we were at, the Lear system or whatever. That's where we pushed them to. We left that and came this way. There's no activity. There's nothing. So that is the last system. Lear is the last one. So it's, we're engineer bound to go and take a look and find out what these engineers are looking for. So we'll have to hit a nav beacon, get 100,000 credits in um, bounties for the one guy. Hopefully unlock those pack hounds. So I would like to get that. Uh, so there's some things we can get from the engineers that I don't have a problem with. But then there's other things that I don't have an interest in. So I would like to do a few things with it. But I'm not going to run all over the place for these guys, you know, and doing these stupid missions. I'm not doing the grind. If they can't engineer with what stuff I've got, I mean, I'm maxed out on data on the ship. I can't even scan more data into the ship. I've, I'm maxed out on everything. We've we done so many particular missions, it's like I can't get any more data. I can't. If I click a ship, I don't get anything from it. It says ship's full. I'm like, crap. So got to figure out how all that little piece works and that and the engineers are going to be where that comes into play cash all that in and then that takes care of it so but yeah appreciate it thanks for watching uh there's more streams on here from earlier today you can watch them on the channel here on twitch and then also the youtube i mean there's a bunch on youtube tons so while i'm getting dinner going you can always check that out and see what's happening on there uh so yeah Appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.